What's up guys and welcome to another TFN Tactics video. Today we're going to be looking at how to use doors. Now, the use of doors is something that can elude a lot of lower level players and uh, it's just a very useful skill to have to know how to use doors correctly. So, I'm going to put this Volk Squad in the building and I'm going to show you what a lot of people do when they try and exit a squad from a building, which is they will quite logically uh, hit the button to unload selected troops or to make them leave the building. The problem with this method of having units garrison and ungarrison buildings is that they will choose any random door on the building. Now, I've chosen these big Sturzdor factories because they have so many doors, but this is relevant to pretty much any building in Company of Heroes because most buildings will have more than one door and you can see, if we zoom in, we've got one door here, we've got another door there, and if we turn the camera around, we've got another door there. So that's three potential doors that we, just there, had no control over. Maybe this Volk Squad was exiting right into the hands of a waiting bar rifle squad and they would have got absolutely shredded. So we don't want that to happen. So, we can actually have quite a lot of control over, or we can have complete control, over which doors they leave. And it's very simple. All we need to do is to actually click on the unit icon in the tray here in the UI at the bottom. So normally, if you just have a building, and if there were multiple squads in here, hitting the button would unload all squads at the same time, and they would pick any random door of their choosing. But the way that we control it is we highlight the building, we highlight the unit, and then we click again on the unload selected troops button but this time they won't immediately exit it brings up a new icon on your cursor uh, which is now giving you control over which door you want them to use wherever you click that is the door that they will exit out of or that is that they will choose the door that is closest to where you click so I can click anywhere on the map and they will pick the door that is closest to that point so the easiest way to demonstrate this is to click right here outside this door and logically they exit out of there but as I said, it works from pretty much anywhere. So if I clicked on there and had the icon up, and if I went all the way over here, they're obviously going to exit out of the front door because it's the closest possible way to get there. And there's a few applications where you might want to use this in a real game scenario. One of them is very early on. Maybe you've got an engineer squad hiding from a Volk squad. You don't want them to walk out of the door straight into the waiting hands of uh, Volk carbines and get destroyed. So you might just want to play Ring Around the Roses for a bit and go and waste some time around the back of a factory or a back of a building. Alternatively, you might be trying to building hop to change your retreat path, perhaps. So, for example, if we take this Sturzdorf example, uh, maybe I have a squad here, they're getting very low on health, and there's a squad waiting in the green cover here. It's a very common scenario on a Sturzdorf game, uh, especially when there's uh, vying for control over this fuel point. So perhaps instead of having them walk out of this door straight into the waiting hands of my enemy and having a retreat path that leads them down through here, down through here, where there's usually loads of mines, which I don't want to do, I can go building hopping. So if we turn the camera around, you can see there's that door there. I'm going to try and hop from this building to this building to this building, finally exiting around this back corner so I can have a much nicer retreat path down here and down here and down here through my own friendly territory. No mines, no enemy troops. My unit is much safer that way. So I'm going to do that, highlight the unit, click the button, and I'm going to select them to unload on this side of the building. Very quickly, I can then select the unit, and they're going to jump in through this side door. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Click on them, click on the icon, and click out that side. And I can keep moving through buildings much faster than it would be to walk around the back. I could walk all the way around this gap here at the back of the buildings, but it would take a very long time. Moving through buildings like this is much, much quicker. An even faster way to... Oh, it doesn't actually quite work because there isn't a door on the back side. That's unfortunate. So this does actually have only one door. But an even quicker way to actually do this is by using hotkeys. That's how I do it. It's how virtually all sort of uh, the top level players use buildings in general. Is to click on the building, click on the unit, and then press D. D being the default hotkey. And then you choose where you want to exit. So here obviously there's only a single door but I can building hop very quickly depending on how quickly the Volk Squad actually mobilizes itself and I can very easily 
using that D hotkey, cover quite a lot of ground, and totally sort of teleport myself from here to here much quicker than it would be to walk. So that is how you use doors. Hope that was helpful. Leave any comments uh, or questions you have in the comments at the bottom and leave any suggestions for any further tactics videos. Thanks for watching.